chapter that we read the second half of this evening records for us one of the most well-known stories in the entire Bible. The record of this chapter is taught to children from their earliest days and is up there with the other great well-known Bible stories that even unsaved and ungodly or non-Christian people are familiar with. The story of Adam and Eve, the story of David and Goliath, the story of Jonah and the whale. We mention these names and, uh, and these events, and many, many people, even if they're not Christians, will know something of those events and those accounts that are recorded in the Bible. And the story that is recorded in this chapter, the true story, is up there with those others that I have mentioned in terms of fame and renown. And I'm referring, of course, to Daniel the prophet, who was cast into the den of lions and who was delivered from the den of lions. And that's the story that we have read off tonight. Now, when you read the book of Daniel, you discover that there are two aspects to this book. There is a prophetic aspect to the book of Daniel. Starting in chapter 2, Daniel interpreted the dream of the great image set up in the plain of Jura, the head of, of gold.